So Sneakers app just had a live stream going over all the sneakers set to drop this summer in 2023. So I wanted to run through some of the sneakers with you guys because I'm kind of excited about some of these releases and I'm pretty sure you are too. First up right here, we have the Air Jordan 11 Low Cement Gray. Now these kind of give me cool gray 11 vibes, but I understand why people don't consider them as that just because it doesn't have the all gray upper and you got the white mesh with the white leather on the back end, the gray Jumpman and then the white 23 around the heel area. And then you got a little gray hit with the Jordan branding on the the tongue as well so this shoe right here looks like a really really clean shoe i think a lot of people are gonna like it i'm not sure if it's gonna actually be a sneaker that sells out per se but i can say because the shoe is so simple it looks like a lot of people will easily be able to wear this with a lot of different outfits especially during the summertime so let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section they're set to release april 1st and retail is going to be 190 bucks next up right here we have the air jordan 3 lucky green so this right here is actually going to be a women's release and i think the colorway is simple and it's clean and you cannot go wrong with this something kind of similar more to like a fire red or this color blocking like that or the true blues or different things like that now this shoe in particular i'm not sure if it's gonna sell out like i just said on the other ones i don't know if these are gonna sell out either just because we've seen over the track record over the past few months or the past couple years honestly jordan threes that have a white upper on them cardinals fire reds even the wizards which we will talk about in a second They've all just kind of been sitting. So when they release, I think it will be a pretty easy cop for all the women that want to get them. I'm not sure if this is going to be extended sizes where the men will be able to purchase this shoe if they want to have it. I'm a size 13 in men's, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get these in my size. But if they do come out in my size, I wouldn't mind grabbing these. And hopefully I can find them at a discount or at least be able to get them for retail. Now these are set to release April 6th and retail is going to be $190 on this shoe. I think a little bit more reasonable. Everybody's really loving it when the shoes are a little bit under the $200 price point because yes it does get expensive even if you were to cop all of these sneakers because it's like 12 or 14 different shoes even if you got all these at retail without paying the resale value that's still a lot of money oh yeah and before we take it into the next shoe if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the dna show hey! Now, next up on the list right here, we have the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Green. And this one right here, also known as the Celtics Ones, everybody's going to be going after this shoe. At least I have a feeling everybody's going to be going after this. And it might be a biased opinion because I still have my DMP Ones, which I should have pulled out for the video. But either way, I still have my pair. They're super fresh. They're clean still. I actually made a TikTok about those a few days ago talking about that. But either way... I think it's a clean shoe. I'm excited to see how they do with the materials, the cuts of the shoe. The other one was a previous retro with the Jumpman on the back, so it wasn't as nice, and people didn't really like the materials as much as they do now with the current retros that they're making on Jordan 1s. So, because of that, I think there's gonna be a really good demand, and a lot of people missed out on the previous retro when that one came out. So I'm excited to be able to put these two together, give you guys a review, and definitely add these to my collection. And you know me, I'm an Oregon Ducks fan, so the green, it just makes sense. I gotta have this shoe. Next up right here, we have the Wash pink air jordan one now this is a women's colorway and it looks like the retail is going to be 180 bucks even though it is a women's drop sometimes actually most of the times they do a really good job when it comes to the materials on the women's sneakers so for this one in particular i think it's going to be a nice shoe again the color is going to be a little bit hard to wear with a lot of different things but you can kind of mix it with a lot of different things at the same time depending on your style and your fits because it is kind of neutral at the same time so i know that might be contradicting itself but the reason why i'm saying that for both angles is because everybody has different style and i could see why people would be able to wear this with a lot of different outfits so let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section and the reason Retail being 180 bucks. Damn, bro. Things are getting spendy. Next up right here, we have another personal favorite on this list, and that is the Air Jordan 13 Black Flint. Now, these are going to be hidden for 200 bucks. I love the OG Flints and then the red Flints that came out after that. So to see these coming out, I got to get these. I think this is a really clean shoe. The Jordan 13 is fire. The color blocking on the shoe is fire. And to be able to have this all black version going with a lot of different outfits is going to be a great option for a lot of people. And everybody knows typically when it comes to Jordan 13s, they don't immediately sell out, but they do kind of go pretty quick. And then over time, the price starts to go up. And it's never been a model that people just disliked. You see a lot of colorways that a lot of people end up liking. So Overall, I think it's a cop, and I think a lot of people will be happy with this release as well. Now, next up on the list, we have a sneaker that wasn't on the actual drop list from Sneakers app, but I had to throw this in there anyways, and that is the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Olive. Everybody's been anticipating this sneaker, so I had to throw it on the list. I know they didn't show it on the app, but either way, this is definitely going to be one of the hot shoes for the summer, and we know everybody's going to be going after it, so I wanted to forewarn you now because it's going to be a lot of people going after this shoe, and if you can get it for retail, you know you're going to be able to resell it for good money. 
But if you actually want the sneaker, I'm wishing you guys all good luck because it's definitely gonna be a high demand for that shoe. Also, if you guys wanna see any other information about all the shoes that I'm listing, I'll have all the information down below in the description. Release dates, style codes, numbers, retail, you name it, all the information, it'll be down below. So make sure you guys check the description underneath this video and that'll give you guys more details. And if we have any updates, I'll make sure that I update the list as well for you guys. Now, next up right here, we have the Air Jordan 3 Wizard. I just got done shooting review and dropping that video as well. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure I'll link that down in the description for you guys. But this is gonna be the true blue and copper is what they call them. But everybody else is calling them wizards, which is actually interesting that Nike and Jordan brand decided to call them true blue and copper. <sighs> you guys will see what I'm talking about. Just watch the review. I did the comparisons between the true blues and this shoe right here. But either way, I think it's a nice shoe. I explain everything about that shoe with the release and the price predictions and everything like that. So make sure you guys go check out that video. It's definitely a cop for me. Let me know what you guys think about these down below and let's take it to the next shoe. And that is the Air Jordan 2 White Cement Gray. Now these right here, they're clean. You can't go wrong with these. It's a gray and white shoe. Well, white and gray shoe, but either way, I think it's a clean shoe. Now, do I think these are gonna sell out? No, we know that Jordan 2s aren't as hot. And again, white shoes, they just look big and bulky. So sometimes they don't go for everybody. And I understand those reasons why as well. People tend to like just darker colored sneakers when it comes to the overall color blocking and the overall color scheme of the shoe. So again, it's a preference based thing between every single person, buy what you like at the end of the day. That's definitely the most important thing. And I'm interested to see what you guys think. So drop a comment down below. Retail on these is gonna be 185 bucks. Next up, right here on the list we have the air jordan 11 low in a women's colorway and this is the yellow snake skin 190 bucks for this shoe and i think these are going to sit for a long time this colorway is just not doing it for me i don't know what it is let me know what you guys think again like i said i like the yellows and i like the greens and everything but these just ain't doing it for me. So I don't wanna to say too much besides the fact that this is not a cop and obviously it's not meant for me, so it is what it is. But either way, I'm gonna pass on this shoe if I did have the opportunity to get these. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Now this next one on the list, everybody's gonna be going crazy for this shoe and you already know what it is, the Air Jordan 4 thunder we've been waiting for this shoe to retro again this will be the third time that the shoe has come out and there is going to be a high demand for this sneaker jordan fours are popping right now the thunder is a grail colorway in particular so you know a lot of people are going to be wanting to double and triple up on this sneaker rock one stock one all those different things and i know for a fact there's going to be a problem when it comes to this release so let me know what you guys think and hopefully again i'm wishing you guys good luck on this release because i know <sighs> it's gonna be a struggle. Now this next shoe, I don't think is gonna be too hard of a problem to get, and that is gonna be the Air Jordan 1 Craft. These right here are interesting. Again, like I said, it looks like the materials on the shoe, really, really nice. But the colorway and everything with the, with the what, what kind of, is this like a, I don't even know if this is a suede or not, I can't really tell on this picture right here. But either way, I'm interested to see how this one turns out to the public and what everybody does with it. Just because, again, it might be a little hard to wear. Yes, I know it may look like a predominantly white or a predominantly sales sneaker, but that material on the back end and on the swoosh might throw some people off and cause them to kind of stay away from it a little bit because yes, it's 180 bucks and I can understand why they would want to spend it on a different shoe. Now this next shoe right here, the Black Smoke Gray Air Jordan 1, I think people would rather spend their 180 on that shoe compared to the Craft. But again, it might be preference based and maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe people like the Craft more than they like the Smoke Gray one. I don't know. Let me know what you think. At the end of the day, like I always say, just buy what you like but either way this shoe looked like it's made with a solid set of materials and i feel like a lot of people aren't going to be mad at it for me in particular i think it is a nice shoe but i'm probably going to pass on it simply because i already got about 80 pairs of jordan ones in my collection so i got to be a little selective at the same time now next up right here we have the air jordan 5 se craft retail is going to be 210 bucks and fives aren't popping like that. So I'm not sure how this one's gonna go. I think it's gonna be a really nice shoe and the people that get it are gonna be happy with it. But I think people are gonna have a really easy time getting the shoe, which is a good thing. Honestly, I think that's a really good thing. I'm just not sure how it's gonna go in the long run and how people feel about it. This one, I really need you guys' responses down below in the comment section when it comes to the Craft Air Jordan 5. It looks like a solid shoe. I think it's just, I don't know, like realistically, if they brought back the wolf gray fives, 
now then we'd be up to something you know what i'm saying like that was a good time i remember when those dropped i used to have those in my collection for a long time and they started to yellow a little bit and i got rid of them but either way the wolf grade 5 now that would tickle my fancy next up right here on the list we have another shoe that i'm really excited about and i don't know exactly how it's going to look in person but just off of all the images that i've seen i think this is going to be a really clean shoe it's something dope to rock especially on a og1 low and that is the black cement og1 low these right here are going to be set to release at 140 bucks i think they might go somewhere around that price point when they release but at the end of the day i think the people that really love the idea of elephant print on different sneakers and the mixture of materials and textures and different things like that a lot of people are going to love these I, I can see some people pulling some fire fits off with this shoe as well hopefully i can pull off a fire fit i don't know we'll see when the time comes in the summer time but either way i think this is definitely a really clean shoe and i'm not mad at these at all i like how they did the suede and the different materials with the white swoosh and everything giving it a little bit of a pop and you got that was that like a sail or a gray nike air right there on the tongue the wings logo on the back this is a clean shoe i like these and honestly it might look clean with some sail or some white laces in this shoe but the all black murdered out that looks good too okay last but not least trust me when it comes to this release <laughs> i need two pairs of these for sure that is the Toro Bravo Air Jordan 6. I got the 4s, I got the 5s, so you know I gotta have the 6s. And I love the Jordan 6. That's my favorite model. So this shoe right here, all red, suede, clean. Now, if these would've came out, let's say, five to seven years ago, I guarantee you, everybody would've been going crazy. But because current time and what it is right now, I think it might be one of those shoes that's like, oh, if you missed it, you can still get it at a good price type situation or you catch it on a restock or something like that. And then later down the line, years down the line, it's that $350 or $400 sneaker. Because just like everybody's sleeping on the Georgetown 6s right now, I think this might kind of fall in that lane. Even when the Raging Bull 5s came out again and they retroed, remember, they didn't really sell out like that. They were really accessible and resale prices weren't that crazy. So. I don't know that's just kind of my prediction again we'll see what happens when the time comes but either way i need two pair of that shoe and i'm excited to add some of these to my collection so with all that being said i appreciate you guys as always don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in another video Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Air Jordan 6 colorway of all time. For me, infrared 6s, without a doubt.